I will always remember Umbong Enigema for portraying and playing the role of Usiril Ramaphosa um, during the apartheid struggle. You know, as a constable, you remember Umbong Enigema played Constable Sabela in on Sarafina, and that's exactly um, who Cyril Ramaphosa was during the apartheid. You know. So I will always remember Umbong Ngema for that role. And speaking of Ubabungema, um, Somizi is explaining himself during this 2024. He can't let this thing go of sending a WhatsApp to him. Oh, he did. Oh, did he send? Okay. He sent the. Ngyan amugela gung boyami bumt aba dad bumt aba koko bumt aba anti bumt a baka sisi. I am Sims and it's at the right Sims on Instagram. So please uh, follow your sister. Happy, happy 2024. We are back to work. I will. Scott, my daughter. Before we get into the scat, I have my love bug. Okay, my love Ukiba M, who has an amazing channel. I love, love, love the relationship aspect and the self love. Um, when she focuses on that type of content on her channel, guys, especially it is so beautiful to see to see. Up and coming content creators be so consistent, be so intentional with their channels, guys. Please show us some love and subscribe to her. Kiba, take it away. Hey, love bugs, welcome to my channel, and I really hope that you will stay. My name is Kiba Molokwani, better known as Kiba M on the socials. If you like anything that's got to do with self care, skin care, routines, self awareness, and healthy living, and just a nice and slow life, you will definitely like my kind of channel and content. I really hope that you will go over to my channel and subscribe and you stay there. And I look forward to building a bigger and more successful channel with you, of course, in 2024. Thank you so much in advance for subscribing. I cannot wait to create beautiful content for you guys. Thanks, Sims, for the shout out, and I'll see you all in the new year. But please subscribe now. Don't forget to subscribe to Ukiba, guys, on today's video, guys. Now, you remember that um, last year, um, as we were about to end the year, we ended the year tragically with the sad passing of Ubab Mbonge Ningema, who will always be like legendary in the theater. Um, entertainment industry, you know, especially for putting so many actors on, you know. Now, so easy, obviously, the Beyonce, no matter who is passing or no matter what is happening, somehow, so easy, will Beyonce the situation. So people were sending their tribute messages, people were, you know, but I show the way back show our corner on Bong in game. And then Sumiz was like, I will show you more than just a picture of me and Mbongi. No! I will dig in my walls up and I'll show you messages sent to me from the legend. So then there was this whole WhatsApp message of how Mbongi Gemma was telling Sumiz, wait a king, wait a king, so easy, you are touching me here. Unfortunately for Osomis, he's not the only one with the WhatsApp. And most of us that have your WhatsApp can identify when someone has sent the message from their side and someone can identify when a message has been sent to him. So the message that Osomis is screenshot, shot it, screenshot it, screenshot. Yeah, but there was a screen and a shot. There was one take and it seemed like it was from Somizi, you know, to Mbongeni's WhatsApp. And we will never know if Mbongeni read that message or he got that message because he is now on the other side, you know. Anyway, so people went crazy. People are like, we cannot believe you are now to the point of sending messages to yourself and claiming that they are from uh, people that have passed on. Like Somizi will fit it. Like you have crossed the divorce. You are now there by a cheese grilla stage in terms of forcing around, you know. 
people were really upset so so me says now come out and he's like guys no honestly uh um this thing i thought i was just gonna sit down and let this thing pass but i can clearly see what you know man it's not sitting well in my soul and i would like to explain myself hi guys so hey this past week so usually i'm not the type that i've promised myself that i will never ever again you know explain myself especially on social media but this one i need explanation and you deserve an explanation so i posted a few days ago a few days after the passing of putumongen i posted a message that he sent me right and i get it why there was a huge hoo-ha about it now let me explain i'm explaining because you deserve an explanation it being me calendar it being me you know to a point where i was like i have to correct this now here's what happened at the when it happened i was like i don't need to explain to anyone but here's what happened when i got the message when putumongeni passed on there's a group called mbongeni tribute it's a group that we've had for the past five years, it's all the cast members in that group, right? So, when I heard about the passing, we were talking to the group, and I was telling the group, you know, he just sent me a message like this a few days ago, and I wanted to share it with them. So, in the, in the evening, that evening, I share the message. But you know when you search, you, you type Mbongeni, and then you send. There's a few Mbongenis that come but because my mind was not okay, I just sent it to Mbongeni. I think the, the group didn't even get the message. Then I let it go. In the morning when I posted, I went to Mbongeni's um, uh, cult message. And I sent the same message that I sent, I thought I'd sent to the group. Just for the sake of you guys seeing the message. Not realizing it. It, it is a message that looks like I have sent it myself to Mbongeni. I hope I'm making sense and I'm never going to explain this again. But I get it why there was a huge uproar and I am not the type. Not at all. I was just sharing how special um, this message was and how amazing that it happened a few days before he passed on. And that's that's what the mistake, that, that was the mistake that happened. So whether you believe it or you don't, I, I second thing I explain it again this time. No! I they went for me. Mina, I'm very strong, but this time I felt so bad. I felt like shit, and it was justifiable. So, whoever I began to and stuff, justifiable. Whoever began to be so and so, justifiable. But now, here's the explanation. Take it, don't take it. We have to move on. We have to move forward. I love you guys. There's nothing else to put more in. Put more in my chair. Look at one, two, and a message later before harm. But, eh, believe it or don't, our color. That's really pillow, and I didn't want it to outshine or to to out whatever my morning process. You know, because Umwa was on Friday, and I wanted it to get it over and done with. So, Tara, I was gonna close the comment section, but no, I, I'm being covered. Comment and tell me what you think. Sharp, sharp. <laughs> Social media, but also because woman who so means, even if I coughed, it was going to be a pandemic. It comes with a territory. Happy 2024 tune. Mina Amuza in but I, as in, let's just bring it all down to a grief. Let's just all say that so was grief stricken, therefore, and uh, what was done can never be didn't at. What he did was not in his right as angas. I'm I'm angas 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 angas. I'm just here to give you an update on how everything went down. But more than anything, guys, it is a new year. People have been asking me for a podcast. I did test it out last year. I was seeing Uguti like, am I am I good at? Is is it giving? Is it not giving? You know. So I'll also like be venturing into um podcasting finally nini zwile, you know, and obviously, obviously, we all know that every match on my birthday, 
um, we do um, an in-person event and unfortunately we were supposed to have one in Cape Town and uh, it didn't work out. It really didn't work out because I felt like it was rushed and I was just like all over the place and I, I wasn't together, you know. So I am in my mind in the game, work, back in business. Ongfunayo, Nikona. So yeah, we are back to business and um, I have another video coming up. So thank you guys. Thank you for all the love, the support that you have shown me throughout 2023. It was a very dark, dark year for me. It was a very dark year for me, but to bigger, better onwards and upwards. So I will see you guys again. Like we are back to work. I...